We're here, peeps. We are here, ready to find a good treasure. Got a People. You know, usually I start at the front or the back, but I'm, I'm just going straight in the middle. We're just going straight for the middle today. Why not? You know, let's just mix it up. Make it an exciting day. And I like a good purse spin. have one like this though that I'm waiting to sell. So I'm not gonna get a few until I've sold the one. Let's say Jacqueline Smith. These are nice. They have moss holes. Well, that one does. like a vintage fossil wallet. Oh my, there's a lot 
sort of crazy on that. Huh. That's cute. Little grapes. I think they're supposed to be the legs. large piece of fabric tapestry. Hmm. I don't know if I should get that. I'm gonna put it in the top. We'll think about it. The lunch bag. a good wipe off.
my gosh, look at this little bag. That is so cute.
high. It's like the fins of massive plushy. It's one of those chalk things. Handcrafted in Italy. Hmm. I wonder if I should get him to go with my other chalk people. Interesting. angry avocado.
emergency candles. might be worth something still with the whole some of these vintage polo jeans can be very good bedding things and some bedding is worth definitely reselling crown crafts this one oh it's a little bunny
stained. What is this? I don't know. Don't mind me just talking to myself. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. going to do I can find the other one in this. I think I might just put it in my cart just in case. have to do a Google Lens. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, they are ECBG. 
it's missing one <laughs> I like how they just painted it <laughs> they're like it's fine oh, I think I'm gonna leave them this one's in good shape this one is a very well-worn one they must favor the foot Michael Kors. A lot of wear. Okay. Another Michael Kors. Oh, here's the other one. Um, I think I'll these ones. I'll just work on the little stuffs coming up. Michael Kors. They kind of have like a retro y look to them. I think I'll just get them. Just get it. They're very cute, Nine West, too. And then we find the other one. They really, they really dug in out there on that field. Good for them. Mm, I might get that one if I can find its head. family in that one. Is this Vince Komodo? No. Oh, I think I've had this shoe before. I mean this brand. Oh, jeez. What are people doing to their shoes? The right Coming up. It is just falling apart. Ooh, what are these? Hmm. I have curiosity. They're size 39. like fry. Oh, there's this 
one. Ooh, that's a cute slip on. And we'll get those. This one back it goes. Um, I'm gonna look up a few things, clean it up a little bit. I will be right back. Oh, I think I forgot to tell you what I put back. Let me think. Oh, I just put that hat back. Um, it was a hat with like ear covers. I forget the brand, but it sold for like uh, 15 maybe. And the hat itself was pretty dirty. So I didn't think it was worth it. So I put that back. Everything else, I'm pretty sure I kept. Vintage Columbia shorts. I'll get those. You talk to me into it. They just brought out a few new bins, so I think I will just head over there. See if there's anything fun. Oops. Oh, 
I am lean. Yes, I will take you.
Someone's little baby blanket from the hospital. Sunday in Brooklyn. I don't know that brand, but it also is a not the best size, it's a small petite. Okie dokie, I think I'm going to go through everything that I got um, and let you know all of the things so stay tuned okay here is our cart of goodies not like overflowing or anything but so it goes sometimes i think i will start up here this is like a textured mug made in turkey goodwill wanted 3.99 pretty fun cool mug got that I think I'm going to take my glove off because I'm hot. A Mary Inglebright mug. We don't care how they do it in New York. It's very sassy. Um, I have another mug. I might just pair them together. I don't know. But we got that one. Um, I'm not going to take this out, but it is tapestry, like a western print tapestry material um so i am gonna get that next is a nike size small dry fit blue lightweight coat with um black paneling on the side full zip looks like it's in pretty good shape pretty good can't complain uh, so I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna move my glove. This is Eileen Fisher. Um, Goodwill wanted $6.99. It's just a very lightweight kind of cover-up. Tan color. It's a nice, like, summery top. is Wrangler. It looks like they cut off the tag, so I'll have to measure it. Um, pearl snap. The print is nice. It's like a bright green and blue print. So I will measure it. Looks like there's a little something there. Um, but I'll measure it uh, when I post it. Or compare it against some that are already posted and measured to see if I can at least put that in the title. Next is a vintage pair of Columbia lightweight short nylon size extra large women. They are definitely a 90s print and they're super light too, so getting that. Next is a fossil wallet. It needs to be wiped off from I think it was meant to have the ability to put your phone in here, but I think phones have outgrown, but you can do whatever, put cash in there, anything. But it's a full zip, so it's a nice, nice wallet. And next, Anva International. We have a little dust. It does okay as far as selling, but it was too cute. I couldn't put it back. Its insides are a little sad. A little stained. But I think I'll post them for about 15 to 20. He's adorable. 
Gucci, whatever. Okay, next is American Eagle, new with tags. Um, I think it's size 20. Yeah, size 20. Regularly $49.95. They are the Tom Girl shorts. Carolyn Taylor, I think. Yes, Carolyn Taylor. Medium. Like a nice mustardy yellow almost. It's coming off more yellow in the camera, but it's more like a mustardy color. Mm. Yeah, medium. Goodwill wanted $7.99. Okay, next, Christopher and Banks, size large. I usually don't pick up Christopher and Banks to resell, um, just because it doesn't sell that great for me. But this print was really fun. It's a sea turtle print, cardigan. So based off the print, I'm gonna get this one. Next is, a, like southwest print Myra bag. The inside is pretty dirty. A pen exploded in there. And there's this little thing. It looks like maybe a cigarette burn. But I think if I just post it for a lower amount and the ink didn't bleed through, which is nice. Um, but Myra bags do really well. So, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> Next, a pair of Kenneth Cole Reaction Heels, size seven and a half. They're pretty good. There's some spots here and there, but overall, they're a nice heel. I'm not getting that. I think this was mostly for maybe hair ties or something. It's just a little Winnie the Pooh pouch. You could probably use it as a bag charm, but I think if I sell something Disney, I might just like attach this and put it on there. Like throw it in. Mm. Next, 9 West. Size 10. Slip-on. Shoes. These are really cute design. I really like these. I don't think they're leather. But... Very cute shoe. I don't know where I put the other one. Oh. These, I'm not sure the brand. I think it says it like on this wood. But it's gonna take me a minute to figure it out, but I'm gonna get it. It just is like, it's screaming like fry to me. Even though I don't think it's fry. Um, I think it's worth picking up. Next, another fossil wallet. Looks like this is probably a vintage one because it has this case back here for your phone, which we haven't had phones to fit in there in that smallish area for quite a while. At least I'm pretty sure that was for your phone. Um, so yeah, vintage distress. And not the bad. Um, next is a pair of Michael Kors wood um, bottom, which is very interesting. You know, I mean, I guess those ones might be wood, but wood bottom size six. It is leather. So leather and wood. It's like a retro-y type of shoe. But I'll have to clean those up some. Next, another pair of Kors Michael Kors. I 
it needs a little help on the inside fixing that, but that shouldn't be too bad. These are eight and a half leather. Okay, I'm gonna go for that last. This is a vintage uh, polo jeans, Ralph Lauren sweater made in Hong Kong. It looks like there's maybe some paint on it. Size extra large and it has this hole. So it definitely has issues, but there are some things for Ralph Lauren that still sell really well, even with some issues. So I might look it up and see. Um, but I'm pretty sure I would still get it, but I'll double check um, before I buy it because it is kind of heavy too. Next is a scarf. Very fun colors, like 60s. Ponte Tresa. Little stain there. Very fun. I like it. Okay, last is I think these are like a bunch of boards you can stick um, stick stuff on. So like this one is Garfield. I can get it out. like make little scenes by sticking the characters on and there's just like a bunch of them in here and then there's like the little characters I don't know I haven't like looked through everything but I just know there's a bunch of these little boards I'm not sure if this is um, worth it or not. I might do a look up quick before I go. Because I just sold a Bernstein Bears one. And it only sold for like 11 or 12. So it might be the case for these two. So I'll probably look it up before I go. I'll figure that out when I have two hands. But there we go. Nice little haul from the bins today. I'm super curious about that Ralph Lauren sweater but everything else I'm excited about. Um, all my stuff is posted on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Um, if you do want to buy something directly from the video, I am doing that now and I will leave my email in the description below. If you want to email me, I can give you a price. Um, I do only invoice through PayPal right now so you would have to have a PayPal. But other than that, I think we're gonna maybe look through a few more maybe not i don't know it's a mystery i don't know till i'm like doing it you know but thanks for coming along if you could give this video a like it would be very appreciated it helps the algorithm it helps people find the video and it just is overall a great thing to do anyways thanks for coming and i'll see you next time bye Okay, so do you remember when I said <laughs> I was done? Well, then they brought out like 80 bins of purses. And I filled up this whole cart just with purses. So let me go through with what I found. Um, I found a lot of good stuff. I think a lot of people left for the day because they closed in like... 50 minutes, um, but they brought out a hoard. Like, they must have been literally hoarding them back there. Okay, first, this isn't a brand name, but it's a raw leather. It does remind me of Madewell. I don't know if it is, but it is a leather tote bag, and it has its shoulder strap. 
Um, so no name on this one, but I have my suspicions of what it might be. There's a little ink uh, mark right there, but we got that one. Next, a multi-sack backpack with like a nice floral print. There is some wear like up here, but overall, I don't think it's that bad. Um, somewhere there. I'm pretty sure multi-sack is a vegan leather. So we're getting that one. Next, Ogio. I think I found this one last time, this brand last time I was here. Um, and I think it does okay from what I remember. And this one is in really good condition. Nice red color. Not that. Next is a coach. Um, obviously somewhere here, but there is the Creed. Inside's in really clean shape. Um, so yeah, somewhere up here, but it's like a, a coach hobo. And somewhere on the um, strap, but I mean, for like a $2.50 maybe? $2.50? We'll get that. Um, I found this belt that has this very interesting lion uh, buckle on it. There's no brand from what I could see, but it's like a woven. It seems very much vintage, but that is what it looks like. Excuse me as I poke him in the eye. Okay, next I found a Brighton Belt Medium Calfskin Saddle Leather. Just like a black croco print almost. Got that. Next is... Oh, um, what's Gianna Bernini. Um, crossbody. Leather. Pretty nice. Um, next is... Oh, the sack. This needs to be shaved. The inside needs to be shaved pretty badly. Um, mm, this one smells like smoke. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this one. I'm just gonna put that there. Uh, next, a vintage, kind of like bubble. It's like bubbly. I don't know how to explain it. I can't see the brand because it's a little um, worn off, but very cute. Nice condition. Vintage bag. Next, a genuine leather sold for $30, Western belt. Here's the print on it. Well, not print, these are like studded. Got that. This is just a Liz Claiborne, um, but it is a vintage one. And I think the style people would like, it's very vintage Dooney and Burke looking. And I tend to do well with vintage Liz Claiborne. Even though I didn't pick up her clothes, vintage bags do decent. Next, I don't know this brand. June. I probably will look it up before I get it, just to make sure there is some wear here and here. But I just picked it up because it looked like a nice bag but I will double check on this one before I check out. This, I believe, is a fisherman's basket. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. A little woven. It could just be a backpack. Definitely a possibility, but very cool. I love it. Ooh. Okay, next is a lotus bag, tote, good condition, 
black leather. Next, I found this. I haven't opened it, but it's like a very cute woven bag, I assume. It might be something else. But I also love this one. But I love all bags, so what what do I really know? Um, next I have this vintage beaded bag. I think you close out. I think you close it like that. Really good shape. Not seeing many, if any, issues with the beading. So we're gonna get to that. Next, another vintage bag. I think, I think this is vintage. And made in Hong Kong, yes, this is vintage. Like a mesh metal. We got that. Next, I don't know this brand either. I'm gonna have to look it up. It is, what is it? Marina. So I will look this one up. It is branded here as well, but this is branded Nomo? Something like that. Um, but I'm gonna look that up as well since I haven't found that brand before. Next is a very turned inside out. What does that say? Oh. I don't know this brand either. Esplo? Um, it is leather. It's a nice bag but also an unknown brand to me. But I'll probably just get that one because I like it. Next is a Kate Spade. Bag. Inside's in really good shape. It's like a peach pink color. And there's a few spots here and there, but I might be able to get those out but we're getting that one. Next is a vintage Calvin, or no, vintage Nine West. Um, kind of like messenger bag. Again, Nine West is not like a super high end seller, but these vintage leather bags, people love. Um, it has very much vintage coach vibes. So I'm gonna get that one. Next, this is just Aldo, which is also not a super high-end brand, but this one I don't think was used because the um, little tape protectant or that peel protectant is still on. So I'm just gonna get that one because it's in really good shape. You can still get 15 to 20. Next is a fossil has its little key. There's a little stain there. What a very cute. Oh, look at the key. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, I've got that one. Next, Michael Kors. So this one is not saying Michael Michael Kors. It's just saying straight Michael Kors, which I believe is a higher brand than Michael. Michael Kors, um, but here's the little take thingy, and there's it down there. It is white, so obviously it is going to have some staining on it, looks like it has. Maybe they tried to clean it a bit, but all this is branded, Michael Kors. That was a really good find. I was really excited about that. I was excited about all these. What am I? I, I just love them all. Um, this one is Steve Madden. 
Inside's in good condition. Outside's in pretty good condition. It's like a large bowling bag with studs. So we're getting that one. Next, American Leather Co. I don't know how this does. I just like the look of this. like a light tan color and it's leather obviously um next is a vintage clutch the inside can't pass up a vintage bag you know next is a guess This might be close to vintage, if not vintage. Mm. This one also smells. Next, I don't know this brand either, Kelly Moore, so I'm gonna have to look it up before I go. A beautiful mess. Goodwill was selling it for $14.99. It is missing its crossbody strap, which is what you would need for the bag. So I'm going to look this one up as well before I go um, to see if this is a good pickup. But I just grabbed it because it was a cute bag. Next is a Dyson carrying case. I think for the hair, whatever they have for Dyson hair products. I'm pretty sure what, that's what this is for. Um, and Dyson, obviously, an expensive brand, so just got it. Next, a bead beaded vintage, kind of like champagne color with rose, a rose on it. Does have some issues, but don't we all? Okay. Next, a fossil wallet. It's like a studded wallet. Got that. This I also was pondering. It is Gianni, Gianni Notaro, genuine leather made in Italy. The inside's kind of filthy. Um, but it's missing its clasp here. So it would just have to like hang, which I don't think is a big deal, but it's like a backpack um, top handle bag. So I think I might just get it because it is a nice look and I think it would sell fine without that clasp there. It needs to be cleaned out here. I don't know what that is. It's gross. Um, a Herschel backpack with like a tropical parrot print on it. Oh, thanks! Um, another vintage bag. It looks like there was some little bead accents there. Some of them have fallen out, but... Um, but we're getting that one. Okay, next is the sack. Oh, it looks like its emblem fell off, but I'm pretty sure it's the sack. Yeah, the sack. Woven. Oh, it looks like um, it could have been a backpack as well, but now it's just a top handle. So we're getting that. Next, a super interesting. Oh, that must be magnetic. Like beaded monstrosity of amazingness. This might be my favorite. My favorite bag from today. It's just. Um, and next is a Kate Spade, very large, 
polka dot uh, tote. I would consider it a tote. It's cute. And it looks like it has its crossbody as well. Okay, so I need to look up this. Please, this. Oh, wait. This has to go back. And I think this has to go back because it smells like slow. Um, and then I picked up these. Made in Sweden original clogs. I think someone threw them back. But I think these are also a good pickup. Um, we have a, a tooled leather belt. I don't think it's vintage, but it's still a nice tool leather belt, so got that. And then this really massive scarf shawl. It's a vintage Chico's rayon silk blend. Very colorful and fun. Okay. They close in. Oh, does this smell? Maybe. Uh, 30 minutes, so I will be going through these, picking out the ones I'm going to keep, add them to my massive purse cart, and then check out because I don't need to get anything else, even though this was amazing. I've never filled a cart with just purses before, so that was really fun. All right, thank you for coming along. I will be back soon to dig through to find some more treasures. All right, if you give this video the thumbs up, I'll see you later.